Critics have praised Celine Dion's sad documentary, I Am, Celine Dion, which details her struggle with incurable stiff person syndrome and was released on Tuesday. The terrifying movie, which took more than a year to complete, follows the star as she fights to carry on with her job and normal life in spite of her diagnosis. It has received a flawless score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. The syndrome is an incredibly rare illness that causes the muscles in the torso and limbs to fluctuate between spasming and remaining rigid. Dion, 56, stated that she had been diagnosed with the syndrome in December 2022. The movie is the opposite of a vanity project, according to Time critic Rich Juzwiak, who also applauded Dion for her candor, even capturing a challenging scene in which she struggles to perform Foreigners I Want to Know What Love Is Because of Her Chest Ailment. I Am, Celine Dion is a meditation on aging and what happens to stars whose powers wane with time, whether or not they have a rare condition, according to the review. Even with its terrible and crippling nature, Dion's illness forces her to face many emotions that many celebrities would never want to face. Nobody wants to talk about what it means to be past their prime, but SPS has forced Dion to contemplate just that, Dion said. Chris Azapardi, a critic for the New York Times, commended Dion for treating her illness with humor and for letting raw footage into the movie. In one such episode, Dion is given pain medication and has a 10-minute spasm while crying in agony. In uncut footage that feels more a part of her recovery process, Dion's naturally expressive personality already comes through through her suffering such as when her physical therapist nudges her about a cream she hasn't been using on her feet. Please give me a break, she bemoans in a light-hearted way. These uncomfortable moments detract from the intense emotional impact of seeing Dion rise above her situation. Particularly when she allows the cameras to linger, displaying some of the most depressing health-related sequences of a celebrity that I have ever seen on TV. Ryan Latanzio, an IndieWire critic, praised Dion for her unsettlingly candid and up-close and personal tour of her psychic freefall in the aftermath of that diagnosis and called the documentary superb and intimate. She has always been herself, and this film lets her authentic self come through in ways that seem unusual for a documentary about an artist. When an old clip of Dion appears on screen, showing her effortlessly hitting the right notes to songs like It's All Coming Back to Me Now, it is typically followed by footage of the icon in the present, breaking into song and straining to keep her voice from cracking. As Collider critic Isabella Soares noted that IT is heartbreaking and unjust to watch her main tool fall short, particularly for someone who has always been extremely skilled at what she does. The performer even makes jokes about how jealous she is of rock musicians who have scratchy voices from excessive drinking and smoking because she has always been so careful about staying hydrated and getting enough sleep to maintain her performance. Soares applauded Dion's piercing portrayal which doesn't shy away from making audiences feel like a fly on the wall in describing her problems. Manuel Betancourt, AV Club critic, gave the movie a stellar review, calling it intimate, bruising, and gut-wrenching. It is heartbreaking to watch the transition between candid moments in which Dion breaks down in tears, discussing her difficult physical therapy sessions and the numerous medications she is reliant on, and dramatic sequences in which her voice and physical abilities are on full show for the world to see, but this isn't a place for self-pity. Following Dion's lead, the documentary is not just looking backward, it is also looking forward. The documentary reveals a global megastar's never-before-seen private life through visits to her couture touring outfit and personal possessions and time spent in the recording studio, according to the film synopsis. I am. Celine Dion is a passionate, upbeat, and poetic love letter to music that documents almost a year of filming as the iconic singer finds her way toward leading an honest and genuine life despite sickness. The documentary is available for viewing on Prime Video and was acquired by Amazon MGM for distribution internationally. The documentary produced by Vermilion Films, Sony Music Vision, and Sony Music Entertainment Canada was directed by Irene Taylor. In an emotional video announcing her condition, she stated, I've been dealing with health issues for a long time and it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. The Golden Globe winner chose to call off her Courage World Tour in May, even though she had originally scheduled it for the spring of 2024. She addressed her devoted followers, even though it breaks my heart, 
it's best that we cancel everything now until I'm really ready to be back on stage again. The committed artist seems to have followed through on her pledge to continue improving her health. At the time, she exclaimed, I want you all to know that I'm not giving up and that I can't wait to see you again. Celine's sister recently disclosed that the singer's illness has caused her to lose control of her muscles. According to a US Weekly Insider, Celine is a fighter. Although she no longer has as much control over her muscles as she once did, she is still pursuing recovery with medical professionals and physical therapists. According to the source, Celine has been concentrating on her health and intends to return to the stage as soon as her medical staff gives the all clear. The remarks were confirmed by another knowledgeable party. The insider stated, she's continuing to be optimistic and upbeat and going to her physical therapy every day. She always dreams of being on stage again, even if she can't sing, all she wants is to see those beautiful faces. According to John Hopkins Medicine, Stiff Person Syndrome is a rare autoimmune neurological disorder that most commonly causes muscle stiffness and painful spasms that come and go and can worsen over time.